Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And get your hand off my nipple. Welcome back to another episode of The Cooperators. I'm sorry, I love you. It's just no, the nipple contract. It's like the Santa Claus. <laughs> Boop. Wait, wait, it's fun to be assertive. Beep, beep. <laughs> like you just, nipple guard. That's why I'm probably going to get you. I'm going to have to get you nipple guards and like the booby tassels and everything. You know, even if I didn't have very small man boobs, I'd still be on guard. I don't want to be touching my nipple. I shaved my balls today, by the way. What the fuck? Let's go back to talking about Resident Evil. We were talking about love interests uh, before. Um, Rebecca. And Chris. Chris to Brad. Can you hear me? No. Brad. No. Damn. Doesn't, doesn't he, like, launch a flare to give him a sign? That's at the end of the game. At the end of the game. I thought it was, uh, like, also, like, in, halfway in the game. Um, yeah, no, Chris and Jill... That was supposed to be the love interest. No, it was actually Chris and Rebecca, but they never talk about Rebecca at all. Chris and Jill, they were just oh, partners. Shit, there's they dogs were, here. They were just partners. They weren't love interest. Can I walk past Ironic them? Ironic enough. I can't walk past them. I can't walk past them. Ironic enough. Do you want to know what the love interest was between uh, who Jill was? Who? Oh. It's Carlos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but whatever happened to them, well, we don't know. You said that you found that in, some, in the Umbrella Chronicles files, that apparently... There's a snake right there. I gotta I, be careful. I, okay. I don't know, honestly, but because when you beat the game Resident Evil Three, you you could beat it eight more times and get eight more secret uh, things that background each character of the series. One of the endings is that Jill and Carlos they actually they're like on a cruise ship or something and mm -hmm. they're looking into the horizon and like saying are they like together or something like oh apparently so yeah Jill and Carlos they actually you know they were a thing. It wasn't. Uh, Jill and Chris, it was Jill and Carlos. You and it's not saying I got nothing against Carlos, I like Carlos. Hmm. I do too. Question, why did he go from Spanish to normal English in the middle of the fucking campaign? What do you mean? He had a Spanish-type accent when you first meet him. Then the rest of the game, accent's gone. It's not really an accent, I think he was probably like just, uh, Oh, you know, it's like, it's like, oh, the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. He was flirting with, with Jill, but, like, later on, like, at, even at that, at, that, at that scene, it's like, we were mercenaries. Hired, it's like, uh, hired hands. Do you really think, oh, I'm trying to remember the lines, what he said. Do you really think the, the master owner, would... The only thing, do you really think that the owner of the, ma uh, the, the master told his dog why to go fetch the stick he just threw? Yep. Like, at, at, at that at that line, he was not having, he did not have an accent at all. I guess he was only having an accent just to, you know, flirt with, uh, with Jill. Use this to protect yourself from the monster in the chains. That can't be hurt by guns. Well, they can be hurt, they just can't die. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Wesker, oh, you're so sweet. Too bad I have to punch you. I was gonna say, why is Wesker helping him? It's part of the experiment. What experiment? He was gathering data on the star stuff. Oh, that's right. You're yeah. saying like, oh yeah, Chris, here, take all the stuff and uh, wink, wink, kill them. And I will uh, gather some data and be like, oh, okay. So, uh, so a the... shotgun to the face does <laughs> not kill a hunter right away. Ah, oh, lovely. So wait, that was actually his job? Wesker was just a, co a collect research and data for all the POWs? I love how they introduced the hunter. This is a, one of the greatest ways to introduce a new that enemy. That actually really is cool. Like, this is terrifying. You're they... like, wait a minute, I just went there. They use the POV cameras and everything, and he's like literally right there in that door. That actually is. I'll, I'll give him. I'll, I'll give Capcom props for that one. That actually really is good. I can go up there and go. You know, yeah. Let me go up there and go in the basement real quick. Let me take care of the basement because I got to get the power working and shit. Power's working and running. Whoa, how you doing? Oh, Ow! Damn, you just right in the dick. I was gonna say you should like heal. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're in caution. I'm still okay. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> I was Maybe gonna, they won't see me. I was gonna say. I mean, at this at this point, you could probably use a rocket. I mean, you've already like fucked up your 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 knife run, even though you're literally running around with a knife. But I think it's I think it's now safe to say, maybe you just so you just. Right, I'll tell you what. This is not a, officially, this is not a save run. Okay? Okay. It's hard mode, no saves. I went the wrong way completely, too. But Fuck. you can probably use the rockets. I have to go that way, that's the problem. You, you can, alright, use the rockets then. Fine. 
Just on the hunters. The zombies are, are zombies. I'm sure you're still there. Bitch. Oh, you're 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 a sneaky one. Oh shit! I was gonna That's say, the one shot move. I was gonna say maybe the rockets oh. is not the best idea due to the fact that the rockets are just you know terrible. That was the one shot move that he did. When they do their little taunt, lunge. They taunt yep. and lunge and they cut your head right off. Yep. I'm I'm, I'm kind of sad. It's a little fucked up, but I'm kind of sad they d took out the decapitation in the newer Resident Evil games. The, the, the decapitation they actually introduced that in the th third one or the in Resident one? Evil one, two, three. They kept it. They kept. Oh, it they in, did. It was and the they first kept one. it in, and they kept it in four too. But in the remake well, zero the, and the in, newer ones in the in the uh, sec fourth one it was it wasn't well there was no hunters it was just basically a chainsaw dude just yeah. chops and he's like uh, but that also where's my, where's my head that also had more gore with some certain enemies too. I don't know. I guess they thought the decapitation was a little bit too much, so whatever. Um, it was due to regional stuff and times changing, because this was in the er the late '90s in, with the older ones. I mean, so, um, like in RE4, you can get cut in half and all that other stuff. In RE5, you can actually be eaten in half too. But if you get chainsawed in RE5, they you you're, you still have your head. Yeah. A lot of fucked up shit that they do. I mean, you saw the border, the uh, the boundaries that what was it? Uh, Dead Space did. Like that game was a lot of. It's like I'm not gonna get my kid this game, so don't you bitch. It's not meant for him. It's like all the moms that wrote to Rockstar. It's like how could you make Rockstar? this game? Yeah, for GTA Five. Oh, there was a lot of problems. It's like, and Rockstar said, if you don't like the game. Don't buy it for your son. There's well, a reason there's a rating. Well, yeah, well, well, first off, how old is your son? He's so-and-so age. Why are you buying this game? This game is for... Do you not read the title? M. Mature. 17 and up. Your son is 13. Why is he playing it? He's not allowed to be playing it. It's like, that's what the rating system is for. And second, if you don't like it for him, don't buy it. It's as simple as that. They basically said, we're not going to change our ways. Be a fucking parent. Yeah. That, uh, look. I'm actually with with, with with Capcom. Like like yeah, it's like oh because you're not a parent. No, it's because I'm a fucking person. You don't have to be. You don't have to be a parent to not understand common sense. That uh, okay, I will tell you what. Here's the Bar Barney the Dinosaur the movie. Here's porn. What do you show your kid? <laughs> that thing has a rating system. This one's rated G. This one's rated XXX. Is this researchers well? Do you want to read? Um, I don't think we should read all this. Do you want to read? Do you want to read it? Because I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out. Is this the one I just picked up? I, I in an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep. I'm pressing against my door. I don't remember that. This door. I'm not. I'm not gonna read that one. I'm not gonna read that. Oh, uh, there's Lord, a spider yes. down here. I really should heal up just to be safe, but I don't know. I was gonna say, what do you want, caution? Yes, but I'm probably like, oh hey, he's just like standing going. Stuff. Yeah, but there's one over. Oh, oh okay, they're not a problem to me. Is there anything over here? There's something over there. What there's is that? There's a lot of cardboard boxes. I'm pretty ah. sure. It's oh, that's shocking him. I don't need that. Salt Snake is probably hiding in one of those. Hey, give me a hug. Uh, tickle, tickle. Come on, can I run past you? Yes, I can. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Spizzle, 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 spizzle. Alright, so I don't have to worry about being poisoned. Now I think I can heal up because if I get bitten by a zombie, I'm gonna be fucked. What you have is the uh, first aid spray, though. Yeah. Alright, so we're good. So, oh, oh, oh. oh well, there's oh, more. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of a good thing. It's like, hey, just in case you got poisoned, buddy. Here you go. Well, at least I'm nice enough to you in, in, in hard And mode. I got this. So I can actually get through. Oh, oh, I got two of these. Let me hold on to the... You got the... You can use the rockets at this point. Because, like I, I, I said... I don't need them. Alright, fine. He's gonna... Try to do knife run as best as possible. Or... Bitch. Whatever, whatever's left of this knife run, honestly. <laughs> it, the, the fucking rocket has to be used for hunters and shit. I was gonna say, I don't think it's the best idea to be playing with electricity... Oh, damn. I are are they both gonna go away? Nope. Nope. Fuck. Shit. It sucks. You can't like. All right. You know what? He doesn't switch his. Now I tried. The end. Anyway. 
I wouldn't be playing with fuses and electricity while you're like literally on right underneath water. Yeah. Oh, and that's right. There's still these zombies. Well, in the, the basement. I was gonna say the crimson. Oh no, not the uh, the, the naked zombies, right? No. Naked grandma. <laughs> naked grandma. <laughs> and so that's the, no, there's so many. Uh, oh, he got up. He learned how to walk. I'm so proud of you. Yay! Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's like diminishing a child's dream. <laughs> anyway. So many good things back in uh, Family Feud. My god, I think one of, uh, one of the best ones is um, name something that gets passed around. A joint. And they were laughing and... It, it was, what the fuck's his name? Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. He was like... You don't remember? No, he's like... Get the fuck off me. Um, I don't know how many... Uh, I don't know what you would be thinking. That, like, hey, an illegal drug. And we put that in the surveys. But let's see how many weed heads are up there. Bing! And it's actually up there, like... This is when you know we're going to hell. Yep. Okay, Trish. Only two answers top it. The collection played at church. And then Steve Orr was like... <laughs> no, and he's, la he's laughing. And like, I like it how you're trying to save us from... Go from save saving us from going to hell. Yeah, it's like, and he's like, yeah, she's got the halo, I've got the horns. You evil myth, you, passing around the thing with the funnest smell. We're looking for some saving church plates. Bing, and it's up there, but he's like, oh dear God. It's, it's less than the joint. This is not good. <laughs> oh, shit. No, he grabs the bike. It's less than the joint. This is not good. All right, so I need the battery. That's right there. Oh, hey, a grenade. I'm trying to remember if there was any other. There's a lot of good ones, but I can't. Like, I, I'm trying to remember them in my head. Uh, Naked Grandma was name something that a burglar does not want to see when he walks in. <laughs> Naked Grandma, Naked, huh? But the way how he says, he just screams out, Naked Grandma, Naked, huh? I'm trying to remember if there's any other ones. Can you remember any? Is the zombie here? No, he's there. <laughs> is he over there? No, he's behind me. Wait, <laughs> is he behind me? No, I'm in front of you. Uh, <laughs> the problem is, I know where that room leads. Alright, so... You feel a bad, bad wound. Oh, so I only need to unlock that door right near me, to the left. Uh, and then the I need... the right. And, well, that's... I unlock it from the other side. And then I need to unlock the lower uh, one on the main hall. That's all. So all right. do you remember any other any other funny things from uh, Family Feud? Mm. Penis? Oh, yeah. Uh, name something that gets bigger when you get older. Your penis! He's like... And he's running the clock. Um, are we gonna keep that? I said the middle. I don't care what you said. <laughs> he's so angry. That's like that's when his that's like when, when uh, his blackness comes out. I don't care what you said. His blackness. <laughs> I don't know. Remember what Andy, uh, Andy the expert, uh, Andy said, like, Bert Cracker, because he was, what was it, white guy? He, no, he was a black. Fuck, what was it? it was a it was a black guy, but in a white. It was a. I can't remember what Andy was like. He was a black kid trapped in a what? No, he's a white, in, he's no, no, no. He's, he's an a Oreo. white kid trapped trapped in a black body. He's an Oreo. He's an Oreo. Yeah, no, he's white on the inside, black on the outside. But he's a, he's hilarious. But we call him Burnt Cracker because he's he's so white, hey, but he's black. You want to hear something slightly messed up? But it was actually what was it? His dad was black and his mother's white. I think that's what what, what it was. But he's very like you know. Mm -hmm. What Mocha. do you what do you call a white girl who willingly gets banged by two black guys at the same time? A Oreo. <laughs> but I'm trying to remember what he said that when I do get angry my blackness does come out my blackness comes out like you'll actually hear like like he's angry and like oh wow that's 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 black rage coming out but um Steve Harvey did the same thing he was like I said the medical okay oh, what you said you could have said anything ring ling ding ling you're the medical terms just as bad your penis oh shit Damn, what are the funny things that that the uh, Family Feud had? Because Family Feud is, is it's like well, now it's, good. it's it's no now it's actually such a funny show. I mean, it was funny still back then, but it's now it's just, it's just much more funny. I don't know why. I mean, I could probably put this away. What was one thing that uh, I'm trying to remember? It was uh, it was uh, a game back in the '90s. Don't, uh, need, don't need the battery. It was this, uh, maybe it was the '80s or '90s. With the same game, Family Feud. Uh -huh. uh, it was di different host, and it, had, it was the NBA special where. Um, uh, name something you would need f uh, to complete a cat costume, a mask. Name something a child does endless. Uh, uh, something a child does endlessly, masturbate. And it kept going and going and going. And it's like, name something. Okay, you said mask. 
eh, that was wrong. I was like, and, uh, for, this one you might get. You said masturbate. Survey says two. <laughs> two people actually said uh, masturbate. Well, it's just child. It's vague. It, and I thought that was actually kind of funny. Dude, so that, that I'm bird. gonna be sa I'm gonna be saving Rebecca, right? Oh, I, I mean, know. I mean Jill, Jill. I thought you were gonna be saving both Jill and Rebecca. I actually have to be quick to save Rebecca. Really? Wait, yes. Why? Because there's gonna be a cutscene that plays when I'm getting to the part to go save her. And, well, then I'm going to go unlock a door. And then I have to run right upstairs and go save her. Where's Barry? I don't know. Because so apparently in the original story that the fact that all four of them actually escaped, both Chris, Jill, Rebecca, and Barry, they all, all four of them actually escaped the, uh, the, the mansion. I'm sorry. That's the original story, but the story was actually in the, uh, the book, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. I do have the book, it's somewhere. I actually have all, I have, I don't know which ones I have. I think I had like six of them. I know more of them came out, but I never uh, had the chance to even get them, in, unfortunately. What the fuck are you doing in the creepy room of all the birds? Uh, well, that one bird. Because that thing's like a sensor. Like, as long as I stay out of his line of sight, I can grab the Chaos Emeralds. Because oh. when he looks at them, they're locked in. The eye, eye of the tiger, that's why. Bow. And now the bird's like looking at him like, the fuck, the fuck? Where the fuck is the piss emerald? Yeah. Wait a minute, don't you just... Wait, there's a third one, though, the, the, the blue gem. That gives yes, you that shotgun. gives me shotgun ammo. But the thing is, if I put that in there, I have, I have to take the shotgun ammo I'll, if I want to put in the next gem. Or I could just save that for last. So what happens if you put in uh, the yellow gem? It'll give me an MO disc. What about the red gem? Uh, the, yeah, the red gem. Uh, that, that's for the room downstairs. Oh, I thought that was for the, the, the tiger. No, tiger is blue and yellow. Oh, well, never mind then. So I was gonna say, well, you put a different gem in, and you get like something different. Like fuck, fuck the shotgun shells. It turns in a full 360 around. What do you get? Penis. And I think that's. Uh, I think we're gonna call it right now on this episode. Uh, After I scream about penis. Yeah, we're running a, a little ahead of schedule. Well, 17 minutes in this episode, so I guess next time on the cooperators, yeah. we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go kill some things because they'll be in my way. With the rockets. Yeah, mainly a crimson head. Okay, I mean, you know, it's a no save. It's a hard no save run. So fine, whatever. Knife run, yeah, I'm running around with a knife. That's what I'm gonna do. Whatever. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>